May 1999, heavy rainfall coincides with the main snowmelt period, resulting in devastating floods. The Lake of Thun reaches a record high level and bursts its banks, filling the river Ara. The river flows past Thun to Bern and finally into the Lake of Biel, affecting many communities on the way. Bernard Veren, who is in charge of controlling the levels of five lakes in Canton Bern, explains why the Lake of Thun is particularly vulnerable. When there's a lot of water from the mountains, it flows into a lake with a small surface. We can't do much to make room for all that water. Lake water can be released through these historic lock gates, but they're of limited use. In 1999, more than 700 cubic metres per second flowed into the lake at times. The locks could only release 350 cubic metres. So the people of Thun decided to build a huge relief tunnel running under the city, which can carry away an extra 100 cubic metres of water per second. The one kilometre long tunnel, which cost 53 million francs, went into service in May 2009. The lake level had to rise before we could let more water out. So if you really wanted to stop the lake level rising, there was only one possibility. Build a new outlet from the lake so that water could be evacuated, even when the level is low. So this pipe makes it possible for us to maintain a low level. Kann jetzt ein Ansteigen des Sees schon auf einer äh, eine tiefen Quote verhindert werden. Good weather forecasting is key to flood prevention. Satellites identify approaching storms from space. The information is sent to weather forecasters who use it in their models. Three to five days before the event, the hydrologists in Bern receive the forecast and they can decide whether to activate the relief pipe. For the last couple of years, Bernard Verden has also been using detailed maps which predict how much meltwater is likely to come from snow in the mountains. It's easier to take preventive measures when you have more information. But if we have melting snow combined with torrential rain, our precautions may not help much. During floods in 1999, 2005 and 2007, the matter area of Bern, downstream of Thun, was badly hit. There were concerns that the new relief pipe would make things worse as it empties into the river Ara that flows through Bern. But the authorities are not allowed to empty so much water out of the Lake of Thun that it increases the risk of a deluge in Bern. The city of Bern continues to adopt measures to protect the local population. At the moment, stones are being removed from the riverbed to make more room for the water. The Lake of Beale, into which the Ara flows, is also prone to flooding. In 2009, six cantons, including Bern, teamed up with the government to introduce new measures to regulate the lake. Now, lake water can be removed a few days before bad weather strikes, so it has room to expand if there is heavy rain. Despite these many improvements to protect the public from the devastating effects of floods, the battle is not over. Experts say climate change will continue to play havoc with Switzerland's weather, causing even more flooding. <laughs>